after one quarter mile. Keep left toward Natick. And nobody wants to know what people don't like controversy brush. They just don't, so they just go ahead and say whatever is at least resistant. So, yeah, they, they will not say they just approve. Just the exit, isn't it? Yeah, it's busy. Oh, well, Saturday after Christmas, maybe these are like <laughs> people returning all their that, gifts. Yeah. Or, uh, is that a week? No. <laughs> Foster fans, force fans. <laughs> they don't want to get in line. <laughs> Snug up the line, folks. We got those people coming. Oh, gosh. Oh, these supposed to be waves or clouds. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Natick is kind of a sea town type thing, isn't it? I don't know. No. no. So in, in, oh. we're inland. We're still 50 miles from the think. coast. <laughs> What's Natick known for? Isn't it kind of a more... When you think, you know, New England, Natick is like one of the towns you think of. I think so, yeah. Or maybe I've seen so many of those, like, uh, New England books that Grace has. <laughs> That's always mentioning. Filming the sun. After one quarter mile, turn left. Funny to see stores that you only see commercials of and never actually have been across. Yeah, no. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Looks more like an apartment complex than a mall. That's where we're gonna get we're gonna off already. Obviously oh, rotary. I wonder if it's just because it's a holiday or it's because it's a Saturday. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. it's so weird. Even, you know, polio on the worst uh, days isn't this bad. Exit the oh. <laughs> After 250 feet, turn left. Oh, okay, that must be like parking garage and there's like a little bridge. Yep. Yeah. Actually, this is a this whole building. I don't think of that. The one with the waves was, um... Yeah, markers. Yeah. Taking a left hand lane. You know, people, we could take turns. One goes, the other goes. Turn left. I'll be burning calories. <laughs> That's why I made sure to wear nice walking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> He's what's holding everything up. Can you block that big gang in there? Go around it. Go to the left. Go left. You know where left is? Uh, Do you know where left is? 
Dude, there's Connecticut drivers and there's Massachusetts parkers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Accelerators! The thing on the right! We survived the trip. Tip, take picture of where you park. <laughs> Mm, well, there's a sign that said Natick Entrance that way. In front of where we parked, it had like Natick Entrance. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that means where you walk or. <laughs> or we could just follow the people that kind of look like they know what they're doing. Walk the walkway. <laughs> See Natick Entry and then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make that look right. <laughs> we survived the trip. I should get my noon points and then some. And I actually remembered to bring my two uh, gift cards for Best Buy, which would be like the one store that's not here. <laughs> but I came prepared. <laughs> F parking. Oh. Mm. I could just walk across the bridge. <laughs> claustrophobic, you need to open the you know, windows. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> pub they got it. There's actually a store in the mall for my pub stuff. There's a store that's just sketchy. Boobs, I don't know. 
Not the best uh, design element there. Yeah, or at least put it you know, on the bottom of the tree or something. That's just wrong. What? I thought this went out like years ago. <laughs> In four hours, traffic hasn't changed much. No. <laughs> <laughs> Doors down here. Yeah. Dang, you ruined my shot, buddy. <laughs> huh? Just turn the camera on the film thing and the car pulls up. You oh. ruined my shot. <laughs> That's what he caught. Um, Bob's, not Bob's, uh, Jordan's Furniture. Well, that says Bob's. No, Bob's is there. Jordan's Furniture is up in the hill. We've been in there. Oh, the I'm, yeah. Duh. I forgot about that. <laughs> that explains why Natick is so familiar. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> Costume change since I'm home and now I'm cuddling my jams. It was rather enjoyable. And this, the entire mall, and this is all I got. The map to the mall. It's so funny because. I guess the farther inwards to Massachusetts you get, the cheaper things get. This was a mall that... <coughs> um, okay, dude. You know, had... Let's see. You had a Lord and Taylor. You had a Neiman Marcus. And I got to waltz into a Neiman Marcus. <laughs> like I told him, I felt like I was like, you know, I'm someplace I shouldn't be. Because <laughs> here I am, all ghetto, you know, Goodwill shopper, looking at sale price. Yeah, the coolest leather jacket that was like double zippers and all that stuff. Sale price, $777 off of a thousand, whatever the hell it was. <laughs> and that was like the average price of stuff. So I'm like... <laughs> You could tell, you can tell a mall is hoity-toity when they got spiral staircases going around their elevators, which I didn't get a chance to film. <coughs> and hardwood floors and carpeting in the, like, not those little half, like, steps that are like that big, an actual step to go down. I did manage to get a few shots inside, so, well, if you're seeing this, you would have figured that out already. So... It was fun, but way out of my league. And out of the whole store, not one single Best Buy. <sighs> they had a Best Buy mobile, which I didn't need. Uh, and they had stores that I didn't realize existed physically. They had a free people, which the only place I've ever heard of it was 
you know, graveyard girls, you know, different halls where she had found it on free people or at free people. I thought it was an online store. And I got to touch a MAC product. I'm like, it was, they had like a little display of like MAC brushes. And, and this is like, you know, the top of the line makeup stuff. I wasn't all that impressed. I thought it would be like, you know, touching air. And like my cheap ass stuff I get from Walmart. <laughs> it was just as good, I thought. I'm like, eh. And I, I didn't touch the makeup though, though I really, really, really kind of wanted to, but I didn't want them to like, oh, can I help you? And I'm like, I was ghetto. I just want to touch it. <laughs> I don't want to touch something expensive, you know? And I didn't go into Sephora, but I kind of whiffed by Sephora. And I can't remember what the... And they had a window store where they have like an eye store. Or eye... Apple store, I guess they call it. And they had a Microsoft store. <laughs> kind of like the old Microsoft, um, McDonald's and Burger King thing. You find one, you find the other. Um, the more I look at like the windows set up on a phone, the more cluttered it looks. Then I, I guess now I'm used to it on a computer. And half the time I forget they're there anyway. Uh, a lot of fancy jewelry. They had like this cool Japanese thing in the food court where everything, I guess this is traditional in Japan, where the plates are color coded by price. And they're on a conveyor belt, and you just grab what you want and eat what you want, and they count up your plates afterwards. We didn't stop, but I thought that was a really cool idea. And I love, you know, Asian food anyway, but we didn't stop. Um, ow. Put my food. Journeys. They have L.L. Bean in here. It was like a kiosk. Like a few slippers, and that was pretty much it. They actually had a Skechers store. And it was funny too that, you know, these fancy brands that I've heard of or have come across in various, you know, will halls, they actually have entire stores. So Skechers had their own stores, Vans had their own stores, or store. Um, and there's a couple other ones I can't remember off. I actually got to walk into a Forever 21. It was the first time I ever walked into a Forever 21. And they had a pair of boots that I would have loved. They were supposed to go over your knee, though, and they looked like a pair of boots you'd buy for an ass load of money in the, <clears throat> the Renaissance Fair. And they're actually a pretty decent price. I, found, I think they were like 25 or something along those lines. But again, I don't think I could have gotten my legs in them. So that was rather disappointing. Mm. They had a Bose store, the fancy speakers. Uh, they had, well, again, the, I was hoping it would be more comic books, but it was, it was cool. They had the coolest books. They had Star Wars, the story of Star Wars, done in Shakespearean language. It was so funny and so perfect at the same time. I would have loved that book. Um, let's see. They had Louis Vuitton, um, Gucci, um, let's see, I didn't see Lush, hmm, they had Lush Cosmetics, MAC Cosmetics, Sephora, I saw the MAC, and that was a huge store, and they had a, a MAC counter in Macy's too, but I didn't come across Lush, that's when I discovered through various YouTubers. Uh, got quite a few shop kicks, so at least I got it out of that. And again, no kicks comes out of Macy's. Bastards. <laughs> uh, uh, Tiffany and Company. Now it's going on. Uh, they have food court and then you have restaurants. They have actual restaurants. Wasabi sushi. That's what it was. Ah, oh, sushi. <sighs> Different services. They had a spa. Oh, the brain store, which was like, kind of like Spencer's for smart people. <laughs> that was kind of cool. 
Tesla Motors. I think that's what I was kind of hoping to see, like a Tesla coil, you know, or at least something along those lines. If you name it after the man, you should have at least something along, you know. Yesterday's Legends, I was kind of hoping to kind of turn on my camera in there, but I didn't know, you know, didn't want to get bitched at, but they, you know, that would have, it would have served him right. It was, um, like posters and things like that of different sports and things were autographed and they had... Um, a couple of things of like JFK and Jackie and everything, but one, only one poster of Dale Sr. and Jr. That was it for NASCAR. It's really up, but you know. Had a cool Star Trek one. That was cool, but kind of redundant. So that was kind of like, what the hell? Ah, specialty food. We had a Lego store. We didn't go in, though. Uh, that's pretty much it, but that's uh, Young Rich People Mall. <laughs> it just makes makes our little local mall really kind of pathetic. But and out of that whole that whole thing, two floors gigantic, only one store was empty. Our mall and the local more local malls. Quite a few stores are empty. It's like, well, what the hell is this place doing? And they're expensive stores, too. So maybe if, you know, they put more affordable stores in our area, you'd have more clientele. But like, you know, Hadley, Holyoke, Springfield, Enfield, which is in Connecticut. We're not, uh, you know, this particular area of, you know, the malls that don't take an entire day to get to, well, this didn't take it either, but how about if we cut out the entire park? I mean, our area malls aren't exactly in the high-end districts, so you would think, I don't know, it's like, there's hardly anybody there Friday where we usually go, and it's like, here are all these expensive stores, wow, <laughs> you know? It was just so strange to see. And it was crowded too, but I figured, you know, it's after the holidays, people spending their money. As you can tell, the traffic. But we survived. And we made a pit stop at, like, a nearby plaza. AC Moore. Still came away with nothing. And I was looking for a couple of things too, but I forgot I have, I still have chain, so I'll make a shorter one for this. And I'm looking for, like, what you would scent a candle with. All I could find is what you would like, like liquid potpourri. I want like essence of cotton to put in my laundry detergent I make. I couldn't find anything. I give away with nothing. It saved me money though. <laughs> Which I spent on my Christmas present to me. Uh, and then we stopped at Wendy's for noms. But it was fun. It was just like, you, you just felt out of place because you knew it's like you couldn't afford none of that stuff. And the funny thing was, there was something called Savers, which is like another kind of thrift place I've never been in. Because they're all in, you know, the city, there's not one conveniently close by. So I'm like, damn, we should have stopped there and we could have got the Louis Vuitton stuff for cheap. <laughs> oh well. So that was my day today. I'm surprised we survived the... traffic -y, cars going in and out, parking, fiasco. Uh, oh well, thank you for watching. Do comment down below if you've ever been to any of these huge malls. So this is like our Mall of America here, basically. Do rate a thumbs up for strange, obscure outing vlogs. And subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. And at least you can subscribe for free, no charge. <laughs>